Hi, I'm Catherine Ray, and welcome to the 10 Minute Book Talk, where best selling authors get together. We chat everything bookish for 10 sweet short minutes. Today, I'm joined with Marie Boswick and Camille Prindle. Camille has run a successful book club for almost a decade in my hometown, and I'm a member of it. I terrible member of it, but I love the book club. Um, and so we asked her today to share some insights on starting and keeping a book club fresh and going. So welcome, Camille. Thank you, Catherine. Um, you've been a part of this book club since 2015. You are one of the original members and you are by far the favorite member. No. Of the club. <laughs> well, you're really sweet. This is why I go to book club people. No, anyway. So tell us, tell us how you've kept us going. I well, mean, what's the secret? I was not the one that started the book club. Um, Barbara Jane England uh, started the book club. Uh, we were a group of tennis moms. Our uh, sons uh, brought us all together on, on the tennis team and brought the ladies together. And um, we were cheering for our sons on the tennis court. And then we started talking books and Barbara Jane started us off with our book club, but then she moved away. That happens, I know, and our whole book club's changed, but you've kept it growing. So I took over as the social secretary of the book club and um, I just kept it going once per month for whoever wanted to attend. Um, and we had that the date was always the third Thursday of the month. And if you couldn't make the book club, that was fine. You just RSVP'd to me, no, I can't make it, hope to make it next time. So we would always start at, at six o'clock and at eight o'clock. So if, if the, the, the ladies need to get back home or other things, it was a, a short period of time. We would have social hour for maybe about 10 minutes. And then during appetizers, we would dive into the book. So it really was a book club for those who actually read the book. If you didn't read the book, please don't come. Yeah, yeah. And you that know, consistency. That I think is such a relevant. So Catherine and I as authors, you know, we do end up talking to book clubs sometimes. And it is so fascinating to me, like how many, um, how many book clubs, like people don't, you know, read the book. I mean, and sometimes you don't have time and it's sure. okay. I think we have to give each other grace for that. But, but I, I think, yeah, I think people come to want to do the book. So I think it's, that is a certainly a really good tip for people. And I know with the new year, maybe a lot of people are watching saying, you know, this is the year I'm going to start a book club. So I think that's a really good thing to establish some clear ground rules. One wow. of which is please read the book because that's what we're going to do. And if you're if you're not able to, it's okay that you can take a pass this month. So that is super smart, Camille. Good tip. I mean, well, also I hadn't, I mean, I love it. I've been in this book club for years and I hadn't even realized it, that it is the third Thursday or Wednesday. Uh, see, don't even realize, but it's every month and it's consistent. And I think that's a key too, is that consistency because we have, we stayed together during COVID and we're back live now. And it had that consistency. And if you fluctuate and you say, who's available next week, it's never going to happen. So right. you, you just kept that going, Camille, and I didn't realize it. Good on you. <laughs> but the other thing that is helpful is to have a list of the books. So I sent out an email to our group with a whole list of the books all the way to April, 2023. And so I put a lot of time into selecting the books with um, one of the members is an expert. Uh, uh, she used to work in, in a bookstore and she uh, pre-reads a lot of books. And so we want to vary the books. There's historical fiction, there's the new books coming out. There's um, some hot books like Taste by Stanley Tucci. That's going to be our September book club. Um, we've got for January book club, we do uh, the short stories. Uh, and then for this meeting, which is this Thursday, uh, the, the members select two that they want to represent and talk about. So long story short, if you don't like the book, that's fine. Skip this month, come next month. So mm -hmm. we have the dates. If you can't make it, if you're on vacation, fine. But I'm always coordinating people that RSVP. We meet at a local place. We keep it to six to eight o'clock. And so I think the parameters are easy. And I think when you run a successful book club, you need to make it easy for the members. Also, you want to make sure it's at a local restaurant that doesn't 
kill the pocketbook. Not, you know, and it's, it's consistent, not that expensive. It's more about discussing the book and being together than it is to, um, to, to have a, a long dinner that goes to one in the morning and a bunch of drinking. I would say that most, maybe one glass of wine, maybe a glass and a half that this group can only get in. You know, I, I, it's, it's all relationships do better with clear communication. So that's really what you're right. Like there are yeah. expectations which are clearly communicated. I think that is so smart. Um, do I get, I'm, be, I'm hogging the questions, Catherine. Do you? I love it. No, oh, do. All right. All right. Cause I just really, cause I have so many questions about this I, on my blog. I, I, you know, wrote a post a couple of years ago about how to start a book club. So this is, and I do think it's something a lot of people want to do, but they I are nervous agree. about it. Like how it just seems so can seem overwhelming and it really doesn't have to be. So you have the books picked a long time ahead. Now, so one thing I have heard from people that they end up complaining or not liking about book clubs is like, oh, there's only one person who ever puts the book. And we really keep the whole thing together. There's going to be something new. But how do you guys go around picking your books and how has that worked? And has it changed over time? Have you always done it the way you've done it? Well, it has changed over time. But the, the most successful way to pick books is to listen to the people that want to read them. And so when I send out my emails, I always say, please give me your um, book suggestions. And so people email, we don't discuss it. When we're discussing a book, we have a short period of time to get to the book. And I'll go ding, 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 you know, on the wine glass to keep it moving because uh, we really want to stay focused at the book being discussed because people put a whole month into reading it. Let's talk about it. So we grow from it. Mm -hmm. So I, I have that done through email. And so when they send me the emails of book suggestions, when I have my meeting with Maxwell Gregory, who is just, I, I admire her so much. Who, who reads and pre-reads all these books. And I, I swear she now, can- Our readers aren't gonna know who Maxwell Gregory is. So tell us. But, well, you will someday because she's gonna talk us, to us uh, soon about the hot books she's interested in in 2022 and 2023. So she is viewers someday, you'll meet her. And she is? She oh, is. Uh, works at the local bookstore. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There you go. Context. So <laughs> So we, it's about a two hour meeting as we pick the books and go through everybody's suggestions. Then we come out with the list. And simply if someone doesn't want to read that book, they can just skip that one and come to the next book club because we have all the dates. Now for the couples book club that I run, um, it's called the Four Seasons Book Club. And each couple uh, has a chance or a season to pick the book. And nice. they're the ones that host. So they host a big dinner. There's only 10 people because uh, we, we, most of us have, have a, a big table and we want to have a nice discussion. And the person that hosts not only uh, picks the dinner, they pick the book and they lead the discussion. So it's been wonderful. That's gone on for about four years. And that's oh, fun. Yeah, it's a wow. lot of fun. That's amazing. Okay, so we are almost out of time, but Marie, you had one last question. I know, we, 10 minutes goes by. No, I know, I feel, I, like know. We, I feel like we could do a but, lot more. One, but you I, had a good question about a challenging member. Right. I think it's asking, because it happens in book clubs. Right, so I mean, what happens, Camille, if there's somebody who's, and it happens, some people, I'm one of them. You give me a microphone, you're gonna have to wrestle it from my cold dead hand. So <laughs> what, what do you do to make sure that everybody is participating and has that opportunity and keeps one person from dominating? Um, well, at the Couples Book Club, we have an hourglass, a sand hourglass, and we pass it to the person speaking, and they cannot be interrupted until the hourglass is done. When it comes to the ladies, I ding the wine glass, you know, and then, um, then you know, let, and I'll say, okay, well, what, why don't we hear from Julie or Let's give someone else a turn. So because this group has been going on so long and some people choose to leave the group and then I keep the email to 20 people. And so if somebody leaves, I invite someone on the wait list to come in um, that we, you know, if, if they're not happy, they can choose not to come anymore and that's fine. 
So um, I think because I've humbled myself as a whole social secretary, I have the respect of the group that they just know I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah. That is great. That's so yeah. important to remember. Yeah. So there we did it, y'all. I hope you have gotten some great tips to start a book club or keep yours going or even change some aspects that you feel aren't working. Um, because I especially think as we get back together in this sort of post-pandemic world, um, a book club is a beautiful thing. So I hope this has been helpful and enjoyable. And we will see you next week at the 10-Minute Book Talk. Thank Thanks, you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, are you there? I'm here. Did okay, you... did I know I just ended? Did she did she disappeared? I think she maybe just went away. Okay, all right, there you go. How do you think it went? I thought it went pretty well. I mean, yeah, I would have I would have loved more time. So I thought it went. Yeah. I, I, went I, ca I, I got us off at twelve. It, according to the thing, I started us at at two o eight, and so therefore it really was twelve uh, two o nine. So it was eleven and a half ish minutes. That's fine. I think it's so, more think or less. It's okay, minutes, right? I agree. I just didn't want to take us to thirteen fourteen. No, 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 no. I think I think if we hit, I, I think when we start to get to twelve, it's a problem. But I think this yeah. is good. So so did right. it record? We're still recording. I'm recording. It is still recording. Oh. Yeah, it, I can. Okay, thing. I think I gotta go then. I think I have to end it. Oh no! Wait, yeah. stop, stop recording.